Okay, we return another integral. This one's from the UK integration B2024, number two. We have the integral from zero to infinity, sine of t over t dt. Okay, first I was actually gonna skip this one because I think I've already done two videos with two different methods already. And then I was thinking there's actually more ways to do it. I have another method, so I thought we would do that in this video. Just to go over really briefly the methods I had in mind. Now the first two were previous videos, so I've already done it that way. Now keep in mind a lot of these methods are actually pretty similar. I'm not saying that this would be great for six different videos, but technically they are different, and so we'll call these different methods. The third method, Lobachevsky, it's really too simple for this case because this would be like 10 seconds because it's really set up for this to just use a formula. And so I don't think I'm doing a video on that. For this one, number four, this is gonna be even faster because it basically is just like this integral. You have something like, for the formula, you have something like sine at. For that, there's only three different solutions. So it's basically just remembering the answer to the problem. Don't think we wanna do this one. The fifth way is kind of interesting. I haven't done this before on this problem. So maybe this is something to do another time. But for today, what I wanna do is I wanna do this using a double integral. Again, it's gonna have some overlap with the other methods, but I still thought this one was pretty interesting. So to get started with it for my first step, we'll get rid of all the junk over here to the right. We'll get rid of all this garbage over here. For my first step on this, I'm actually just gonna rewrite this to look at it a slightly different way. We're gonna have, let's just write this as sine t times one over t. And then what I wanna do is focus on this part right here. And this one sort of takes some getting used to this first step here, but I'm gonna create this other integral that seems to have nothing to do with what we're doing right here. And I wanna integrate this with respect to s. So let's just do this one out and see what happens when we integrate this. First, we get back the whole thing. We get e minus st. And then with respect to s, this minus t is gonna pop out. So I can write it as like minus one over t like this. And we just need to evaluate now from zero to infinity. When you plug in infinity here, this thing's going to zero really fast because we've got the exponential, but then we've got the t in the denominator. So we got our zero there. You plug a zero in for s, you're gonna have you're gonna have e to the zero, which is just one, so it becomes minus one over t. Minus times minus is plus, and what we get for this thing is just one over t. So what we've done here is we found a different way to express one over t using an integral, this over here, and we can use this to bring it inside this expression to create a double integral. So let's just take this and substitute it in for one over t. And now that we have this written as a double integral, this is where we need to be kind of careful of our order that like on this inner integral, we're integrating with respect to s. In the outer integral, we're, we're integrating with respect to t. Now here with respect to s, this sine t is just gonna be a constant value. We could leave it out, but let's actually multiply it back in inside this inner integral. And now for the innermost integral here, you will notice that we can actually just go ahead and integrate. The problem with integrating this now with respect to s, it'll get you right back to where we started from. So if we do it that way and we leave it, we're just going around in circles and we're back to our original problem. What I wanna do instead is let's swap the order of integration. We can swap this so we're integrating here with respect to t and this is gonna be something we can do. Keep in mind we have no trouble with the convergence here because sine is gonna be between minus one and one and this is going to zero really fast. And then doing it that way, now that this inner integral is just being integrated with respect to t, this is perfectly set up. This is exactly our Laplace transform for sine of t. If you're not familiar with Laplace transforms, I'll provide a link to the playlist where I go over this and this formula particularly, but our formula for the Laplace transform of sine of t is gonna be just one over s squared plus one. So as you can see, this is gonna simplify pretty quick because we're just gonna plug this one over s squared plus one here, back in for this integral. So what's gonna happen now, we're back to a single integral. We're going from zero to infinity. The other integral is with respect to ds, and we're just integrating one over s squared plus one ds. Then this right here, this is exactly our arctan formula. So we'll go ahead and integrate this. Integral of this is just gonna be arctan of s, and we just need to evaluate from zero to infinity. Arctan at zero, that's gonna be just zero. Arctan at infinity is gonna be just pi over two. So for my final solution of this, we get just pi over two. Okay, there you go. Good one today from UK 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.